you still have a certain amount of operating expense and even if your truck is a 1996 model and it's completely paid for and it runs like a scalded dog I want to talk about brokers in this industry. You know, it's almost the end of January. It's like the 26th, I think, or 27th. And I put a bid in on a load. And I got uh, an email back from the broker. And the gist of the email was listen I know that you want to keep a certain rate in order to maintain your profit margin but this is the slow season and things will not begin to pick up until when produce comes back in I hope you understand but the industry just won't support those kind of rates right now and I can't help but wonder. These brokers want drivers, owner operators, small fleets to cut our rate, but we're the ones that have all of the expense. What expense does the broker have in moving these loads? You know, all of the broker's expenses are fixed can't help but wonder are they cutting their rate probably not but yet they want us to cut ours I, I, I just do not understand if you want me to cut my rate that's fine but you're going to cut your rate by an equal amount you know this, this is this is ridiculous. This has got to stop. I understand that we all have financial obligations we have to meet. But you know what? It would be so much easier to meet those financial obligations if everybody got on the same page and everybody committed to getting a fair rate for every load. You can't take a load from Calhoun, Georgia to... Tyler, Texas and make any money at a dollar fifty, dollar seventy or eighty a mile. It just doesn't work out. I don't care if your truck is paid for or not. I don't care if you are a master diesel engine mechanic and you do all of your own work. You still have costs. You still have to buy the parts. You still have to pay yourself. You still have taxes that have to be paid, state and federal. You still have a certain amount of operating expense. And even if your truck is a 1996 model, and it's completely paid for and it runs like a scalded dog, I'm sorry, but it, fuel will cost you just as much, possibly even more than what it cost me because I get more miles per gallon than what these older trucks get. So you still have costs. If you're being profitable, you're not hauling cheap freight. You need to share what you're doing with others because I promise you you're not hauling freight for pennies, neither am I. We, we're, we're killing each other out here because they want us to haul, you know, 30,000 pounds halfway across the United States and they want, to, want us to do it for less than $2 a mile or even $2 a mile. And fuel cost you what 260 a gallon right now even before any kind of discounts it just ain't happening you know that's why there's so many drivers out here owner operators that are 
starving to death. That's why there's so many of them out here that are going bankrupt. You have to know what your costs are. And if a broker wants you to take a lower rate, well then that broker needs to commit to you in writing that he or she is also taking a lower rate. Prove it to me. Show me that you're taking a lower rate. All right, that's my rant for today. Uh, I know I'll probably have some detractors that completely disagree with me and you're entitled to your opinion. But we have to, there has to be some sort of industry standards in place that will be beneficial to us all. So, until next time, I'm out of here. See you, bye.